My little boy went on after I had expressly told him not to. Well, he disobeyed your orders. <laughs> <laughs> Blake, give me a number, 1 to 12. What are we shooting today? Well, I recently finished all of my Stranger Things, so I'm going to say it's 11. <laughs> all right. Number 11. So, number 11 is... Uh, it is a Would I Like You clip of the host himself, Mr. Rob Brydon, talking about a bouncy castle incident. Okay, cool. Like Rob Brydon doing Wilty, like sick. I don't think we've seen him do one on his own. He's only done a few, but we have. He shared the couple jumper, the big yeah. orange one. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that yeah. was his story. I've also been told we need to see his stand-up because it's really good. And also in the first couple of seasons of this show, he came on as a contestant before he was the host. So apparently we've got to check out yeah. a couple of those ones, but I haven't seen any of those videos pop up yet. So we'll find it. Anyway. Let's cool. let's find out about this bouncy castle accident or incident. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I was recently bounced off a bouncy castle whilst trying to prevent a bouncident. <laughs> What's what? a bouncident? It's an incident involving a bounce, and you put the two together to create bouncident. Bounce sure, so it's, it's a derivative of accident, not incident. Well, obviously. <laughs> An accident is an incident, <laughs> and a bouncident is an incident. Was this bouncident an accident? <laughs> it was a bouncident waiting to happen. <laughs> How did you go about preventing the bouncident yeah. that might it. or might not have happened? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you everything. <laughs> let, me, let me set the scene for you. Yeah. It's early summer. Um, it was the birthday party of a small child. Was you invited or just turned up? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> look, look, let's, let's be clear. There's a children's party in a church hall. Yeah. I'm yeah. attending because it's the party of my nephew. Yeah. And there's a bouncy castle. Whoa, whoa, in the church hall? I know, I've never indoors. seen yes, yes. An indoor bouncy mm. castle? Indoors? Yes. How no, big was there it? wasn't. I don't think I've ever seen no, one indoors. How did they get it in the door? <laughs> that's a, <laughs> that's a fire. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. How did they get it in the door? We've got him. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> church hall, is that where the service is being held? No. This is no, no. the adjacent this is, this is Church hall was our prime minister during oh. the war. <laughs> 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 Now, I don't like bouncy castles, because I, I think they're dangerous. Right. And my little boy went on after I had expressly told him not to. Well, he oh. disobeyed your orders. <laughs> <laughs> the worst father I've ever... most incompetent father I've ever... <laughs> <laughs> Well, he... I don't like to say, but I think the boy's better off in care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is very upsetting. <laughs> he clambered on, unbeknownst to me. Yeah. And he's going back and forth. So I get on and I get my little boy, yeah. uh, George, who is, who is not even two, yeah. and I pick him up. Right. OK? And I'm trying now to hold my little boy yeah. whilst being bounced <laughs> by these evil children. <laughs> my wife is stood on terra firma. And as I'm coming off the bouncy castle, a particularly hefty child <laughs> bounces, sending me up, <laughs> holding my son. I hurtle through the air. Luckily, I come to my feet like Spider-Man, but <laughs> the impetus is too much. I surge forward and headbutt my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, having the bouncy dent, that I was trying to avoid. <laughs> so, what are you going to say, Lee? What do we think? This is a tough one. It's a little bit tough because every part of me thinks, nope, that definitely did not happen and I don't believe the situation at all. But if he's, if he's kind of exaggerating the story or telling it in a funny way, like, I mean, maybe he went on to grab his kid and came off and then kind of just fumbled on the way down and knocked his wife. Mm. But, like, I kind of feel like, you know, if you're... If, he's not huge, but, like, as an adult, if you're on a bouncy castle and kids are jumping around, like, you're not really getting offset by that too much. Like, I think you can 
make your way through without getting thrown off by children. I think that he did a really, really good job of telling the story. You know, he was engaging left and right with, with everyone on the, on the both sides. And I really liked that because I think it seemed more real. Uh, because obviously he doesn't, you know, he can't have his hands out. He's holding his, his child. So I could see his him being thrown off his weight center a little bit, but probably not enough to launch him forward and then not stop using his legs if he was Spider-Man. Um. <laughs> yeah, you could still like put one hand out if you're holding a child. Yeah, so I'm going to say it's false. Do many people feel that way about bouncy castles, that they're inherently dangerous? Like, they're completely inflatable and every surface is soft. It's only like colliding with other kids. I think parents would, but no, for the most part, probably not. All right, I'm going to go with a lie. Not because I don't believe okay. the story. I think he told the story very well. However it turns out, I think he's a good storyteller with this, but I think he is bluffing. But it, yeah. it honestly could go either way. All right, so two lies. Two lies. Let's find out. Yes, I think it's you true. You think it's true? If a two-year-old had clambered on, you might well go and get your two-year-old off. I think that's true. Well, then I must say true. You say true, no, David okay. yeah. Well, we'll, we'll <laughs> say it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie. Yeah. You say it's true. Well, it's actually... True. Ooh. It was true. Good work. So, it felt like an honest story, and it was an honest story. We've got to remember that for next time, so it wasn't him bluffing. And he doesn't... He didn't make it sound more ridiculous to try and get them to go with lie, so... I'd like to see uh, what his wife said about that story. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just forgot. He had but his wife. Yes. <laughs> Does she have a black eye? Like, what's going on there? Are they just still together? <laughs> well, something else happened. He's just like, this is the story. <laughs> I, I fell off of an inflatable <laughs> castle. <laughs> oh, savage. Well, I certainly love that video. Uh, it sounded like Michael did too, but That's good. let us know at home if you guys also liked that video. And if you did, please hit the like button. Yeah, that was fun. Any more uh, Rob clips we should specifically check out? Did you find little Alex Horn floating around here somewhere? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more Would I Lie to You clips, hit on that playlist just up there. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye, guys.